minor league baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the double A Texas League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Tulsa Drillers and the Springfield Cardinals. Digging in, Drew Avens. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Aye. One one pitch, a curveball that's right there. One ball, two strikes. 73 degrees, our game time temperature here tonight, and then it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. The one two. Ball, that's inside. Ball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. The right Standing team. in, Garrett Kirkpatrick took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. The 1 1. One out, nobody on. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in, Cody Hosey comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Now batting, Kramer Robertson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 one, one home. Oh, On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's 2-2 two and two now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the Bad inning. No Stepping up now, Lars oh. Newtbar. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Lifted the other way to left center. Casey is there now, and he has it to gone. Digging in now, Ryan Blanchard. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. To two and two now. Outside in a full count, three and two. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Blanchard, the runner at first with two gone. In the air out toward right field. And he will make the catch just shy of the track and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Michael Bush. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Let's to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Coming to the plate now, Stevie Berman comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game.
Hit hard. But foul. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Blanchard is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. At the plate, Justin Yurchak. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Here's the 2 1 home. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. And he somehow gets that one by him. Three and two now. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights away. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring up Oscar Hernandez. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. He walked the guy back in the first and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Throws in time and that's out number one. In now Connor Capel is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the windup the one one pitch. Good slider there. Gets a One swing ball. and miss. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Throw over to the bag and a dive but he's back. Bottom of the second here with no score. Into the box now, Brendan Donovan. Up high, two and one now. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, but it's not in time, and the inning will continue. Stepping into the box, Irving Lopez is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 2 2. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Three two pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Payoff pitch one more time. Down the third baseline. He's got it. Off balance throw. Gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Late Donovan Casey, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Grounded to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping in, Jacob Amaya. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. set here comes the 1 1 here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate he circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today he's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game he's set here's the 2 2 and that one never threatened the zone it's gone full now to 3 and 2 Line toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. So here now is the Static pitcher, up. Leo Crawford. Pitcher, number 22, Leo Crawford. And that's lifted the other way out to left. 
Newt Bar will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up the pitcher, Kevin Hergett. Line towards center field. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the pitcher reaches base to start the inning. That means they'll flip the lineup card with a man aboard and nobody now out. At the plate, Kramer Robertson. One and two now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Full count now. Three and two. Popped him up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat. Lars Nootbar. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Nootbar. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Into the box now, Ryan Blanchard. He drew a walk his first time up. 1-1. One, one. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Drew Avens. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Well, this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first out. Now so back. digging in right now, field. Garrett Kirkpatrick. He looked to bounce back Garrett after Patrick. striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Now in the box, Cody Hosey looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The 3-2 pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. The batter number nine. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael Bush. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit to third. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Chris Chenea. The 2 1. Nope. The count is 3 and 1. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Settling in now, Oscar Hernandez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And a 
fastball misses there, ball four. Digging in to try it again, Connor Kinkle. Full count, here it comes. And he misses again here. It's ball four. And that's back-to-back -back walks here with one away. Coming to the plate now, Brendan Donovan. Reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Stepping in, Irving Lopez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. The pitcher, Kevin. In now, Kevin Hergit. That's lifted the other way out to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And now it'll be the catcher, Stevie Berman. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Fly ball out toward left center field. Newtbar, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Ready for another now chance? Back. Justin Yurchak. Justin Yurchak. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Off speed pitch misses here and he runs it to 3 and 1. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. There's ball four. So coming to the plate, Donovan Casey. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Runners on first with one down. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire, and that's out number two. Into the box, Jacob Amaya comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball called strike, 1 and 2. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Kramer Robertson. A 1 1. Back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get it out on the play. To the plate now, Lars Newtbar. Popped him up. Posey is there. One away. Now to the plate, Ryan Blanchard. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ryan Blanchard. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Standing in now, Chris Chenea. Very high, two and one. Oh, textbook slider there, and he's back at even two and two. 
Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Oscar Hernandez is on deck. Good battle. Count remains full. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Once again, a 3-2. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Digging in once again, Oscar Hernandez. Two men are on with two men out. Bounce towards the second baseman. Reined in. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Carlos Sepulveda will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Carlos Sepulveda. Fastball just inside. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now, batter. The left now at the plate, Drew Avens. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. The bat. The right At the plate, Garrett Kirkpatrick. Garrett. And he's likely just Garrett. trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. Popped him up. Chenea has room in foul territory, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Ryan Mosley will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 37, Ryan. Ready now, Connor Capel. The one-two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So stepping in, Brendan Donovan. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 2-1, here it is. Irving Lopez will be next. The 3-1. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty, one man out. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Standing in, Irving Lopez. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. Hit down the line at first. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's the one and two delivery. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Riding into the box, Cody Hosey. It was a walk in his last trip. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Capel is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. 
Striding in, Michael Bush. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Now the three and two pitch. He loses him on ball four. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Stevie Berman. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 2 1 home is taken for strike two. Two ball, two strike. Liner toward right center. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. So striding forward now, now Justin Yurchak. It was a walk in his last trip. Yurchak. The one two. That's a ball. Next up, two and two. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Up with it, Hernandez. And that ends the inning. Zach Kirtley is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Number 31, Zach Kirtley. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Kramer Robertson is working on a one for three thus far. The one two. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time at first for route number two. Now with the plate, Lars Nootbaar. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Nootbaar. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he lays off again, ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he fouls this one off. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. The 3-2 pitch. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Digging in and looking for more, Ryan Blanchard. He singled his last time up. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Brian Dobzanski has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 91. Into the box now, Donovan Casey. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Yeah, well, down two. You better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here anything to get a base runner on and get that tied run to the plate. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Jacob Amaya. That nibbled the corner there but missed two and one. Dubzanski, a native of New Jersey, the Garden State as it's known. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a two-seam fastball. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And there goes the combined no-hitter. Pro won't get him. Diego Cartaya will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 82, Diego Cartaya. Oh, 
Two and one. Runners are at first and third with none out. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Working for the punch out and the offering. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Now that left fielder through Avon. So now to the plate, Drew Avons. Hit down the third baseline. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Stepping into the box, Garrett now Kirkpatrick, back. as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. The 3-2 pitch looped out towards short. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Johan Oviedo is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. Stepping in now, Cody Hosey. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. In to score, the runner from third. Throw to first, not in time, and the go-ahead run is across to score. Riding in once again, Michael Bush. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And this will go down as a sack fly and an RBI as it's now a four to two game. Stepping up to the plate, Stevie Berman. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. The 2-1. Drives it out to deep right center field. And this is going to get down for extra bases, as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. Now batting the first base, Justin Yurchak. At the plate, Justin Yurchak. This is hit the other way out toward left field. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Ready once again, Donovan Casey, runner in scoring position with two gone. Two out here and a runner at second. And he misses again, ball three. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Three and two. Too high, and that cost him ball four. Now at the plate, Jacob Amaya. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Capel is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Parker Curry will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Logan Landon will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Line towards center field. 
A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. The kicker, number 28, Oscar. In now, Oscar Hernandez. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Into the box now, Connor Capel. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Curry playing here in his age 26 season. He throws a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and a two seam fastball. Your check is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Digging in, Brendan Donovan. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One and two now as that one's fouled off. To two balls and two strikes now. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. Ready for another now shot back. now. Irving Lopez. He went down on strikes okay. last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Wow, from 0-2 to 3-2 and in that last pitch on 2-2 two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Jose Godoy will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Good boy. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Right fielder looking up and gone. And the lead has changed here in the eighth. Standing in now, Kramer Robertson. Yanked the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, He'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Popped him up. Your check has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. So striding in, no Lars Newtbar. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The 2-2. Two -two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Havens is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. John Fasola comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 23. Digging in, Logan Landon is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. set here comes the 1 1 and he takes ball two and it's two and one to two and two now pitch on the way and here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning so the lineup flips over and digging in, Drew Avens looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. The 1-2. One, one run game here in the top of the ninth. Fouled off. The 2-2. 
2 2 one more time. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. The 2 2 one more time. He swung on and missed strike three. At the plate, Garrett Kirkpatrick. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Great take right there. But the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. And he missed with this one up around the noggin. Now it's full. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk it. So there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential now time run here is aboard late three. in the game. Cody. Two out with the man at first. Cody. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Three. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move now into scoring position at second. Michael. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. All even now, two and two. And now this crowd estimated at around 26,000 fans comes to their feet. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, it's always been festive on Independence Day in the United States. But what makes the party even more fun is winning in front of your home crowd. Makes those fireworks even more enjoyable. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Cardinals get the win despite three errors in the field. Johan Oviedo gets the win in relief, his sixth of the season. John Fasola strikes out the side to record the save, his 29th of the year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Springfield Cardinals. Seven runs, eight hits, three errors. They left eight men on base.